All right, here we go. I'm gonna explain how I do this sometime. If you got some this right sail or you got some uh, uh, perco or any kind of plastic foundation, this is 5.4. And if you want to go to uh, basically a foundationless one and you don't want to buy any new frames, you already got this stuff. The easiest way to do it would be to pop this out, you know, just like you normally popped it in, and that slot down there. Go to Walmart and buy, there's a pack of three of these paint strainers right here. They're a long paint strainer. If you lay it in there, about where your hand notch is, right there is where that uh, comes off. Cut it off. You split it down the middle and cut it off right here. All right, when you split it, I always split mine on table solder right here and then take it to the chop saw and cut it off. Well, you cut that off, you'll want to be left with uh, two pieces, look just like that. You see? Anyway, and then basically you pop this out. You take and kind of whittle this down a little thinner than what it is. It's, it's kind of square. Just kind of round the edge off a little bit. And then you just wedge it up in there, you know. And you nail uh, uh, either glue or you can nail a couple of little small nails in it. Like I did. There's a nail there and a nail there and a nail on the end down there. And uh, that's about how you do it. Anyhow, let's see if I can do this one-handedly. Anyway, I'm old junk truck out here. But we're going to get this pulled out. There's the black plastic. All right. There's a groove right there in your top bar. You just take that. And I got this little edge kind of whittled down. And I can jam it down in there. And you can glue that thing. And uh, basically just glue it down in there. Or nail it, whichever way you prefer, or both. And then bees will pull down. And you take your knife after you glue it down in there. After you nail it and glue it down in there. Take your knife and uh, kind of round off this edge, this square edge just a little bit. Just round it off a little bit on top, on this side and this side. About the angle of this bar, I'll put my knife and draw down it. Let's see if we can see some of that on this one. Uh, I kind of take the square edge off of it and make it kind of round a little bit. Uh, but... That's how I make foundation one. Now you can buy them, but if you already got these frames and you want to go from this plastic and start and draw it on their own, once you get filled out flame frames and uh, you want to go to uh, them making their own frames, you can do that. But I also put, uh, I drill holes and put a fishing line on these because they're plastic and you'll have to drill your hole right up here and a hole right up here on both end bars. And uh, when you do that, you'll take your little bitty nail put right here, put you some nylon fishing line, and X from here, a loop, X from there to over here, a loop back over here, go over here, over to there, and you tighten the string around this nail, nail it down about four or five turns, then you tighten the string up, pull it tight from here to here, and uh, wrap it around that little nail about four or five times, knock it down, and then you got a good foundation this frame uh i'll see if i can do one real quick but anyhow but that, i'm gonna nail this and glue it okay i done done this one uh i drill a hole about an inch from the top and bottom and uh see that fishing line there you see it see it forms an x and uh you just kind of like i said you put a little nail here wrap it around it four times then you run it down through here and exit and then you come out here and you put your another little nail pull it tight where it kind of make a little banjo sound and nail it down wrap it four times nail it in there and with that and with these being nailed in uh it's not going to go anywhere and you can turn that frame like that even with fresh comb and it won't fall out that'll help that a lot but yeah, basically I just take this frame and drill it about an inch from the top and an inch from the bottom and convert it that way and make some out of it. And uh, you can always tell if you've done a foundation one because they won't never connect it all the way at the bottom 
or they'll leave connected on you know this side and the bottom and might not connected on this side but they'll pull pretty close to the bottom of this bar but they'll leave them a little gap they always leave a little gap on mine on that bar and uh, I know high beetles is a bad thing about getting in that little crack there uh, they would but you could put something down there too I guess we could take a piece of a piece of uh, quarter inch uh, rod and cut it off that length and then glue it down in there and glue it good but it won't matter they'll attach to it but anyhow that's just an easy way of converting over from plastic to uh, foundationless and uh, stuff like that so I just need a couple foundation frames because I got some ordered but foundationless frames ordered but uh, I need a few right now so I just decided to convert some plastic anyway Maybe that'll help somebody. Thank y'all.